Well, two teens have been busy during quarantine. They wrote a number one international bestseller called The Dauntless Chronicles. We are so excited to talk to the authors, Willa Wren, who is from Greenwich, and Anthony Almo, who is from Norwalk. Guys, thank you so much for being here on Better Connecticut. Thank you so much for having Thank you us. So much for having us. Hi. Oh, we're so excited. All right, so three humanoid alien teens live in the Kaiser system 100 years in the future. What does the future look like, according to you both? Steam tech. Yes, <laughs> lots of space steam tech. Steam There's, tech. Uh, spaceships that are like battle cruisers. We've got um, like massive star liners, all powered by steam, of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, have you guys been friends for a long time? Because I'm sure it's not easy to write a book together. Yeah, essentially since we were born. Yeah, yeah our moms were friends before we were born. Uh, we lost touch for a couple of years, and then we met again on the night of my eighth grade dance. And we just started talking about ships and, and planets and space, and boom, Dallas Chronicles. Yeah, the whole book just came to life. It was, it was, it was cool. It was fun. It's it remarkable. All right, so it's written in an unusual alternating perspective format. Was that hard to do, guys? No, no not at all, actually. No. It was actually very easy to do. Uh, basically, what alternating perspective is, is just every chapter is in the perspective of a different character, so you get to see all sides of the story. Mm -hmm. But we stuck to a main five, as so we don't like bring in all 20 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just the main five, and it just gives you a sense of you're getting to know the character better rather than assuming what they're thinking. You're actually inside their head because it's from their perspective. Which is remarkable. Yeah. Now, we're hearing that this is an international bestseller, which is amazing. What do you think is it about the book that really is drawing people in? I think it's the all-ages concept and that we have dragons. Dragons. Yes. Dragons. <laughs> Lots dragons. of dragons. Lots. Yes. <laughs> and you were dragons and superpowers. Everybody loves it. Great combo. Yes. <laughs> and you wrote the ending first. Is that right? Did I hear yes, that correctly? Yes, Yes, that is that is how we work. Yeah, because if you have the ending first, you know what to lead up to. It, you have the beginning, you have the ending. Now you just gotta fill everything in the middle. Mm -hmm. You you know how you know where you want to go. Now it's just getting there. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm always so fascinated. Like, how long does it take to write a book? And are you up all night thinking of different things and waking up and like jotting things down next to your bed? Mm -hmm. And short answer, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the manuscript took about ten months to write. Um, and then six months to do the editing and the print work and all the artwork. But we did we did pull some all-nighters during did. the summer. We, we did start in July. July, we started yeah, in July, July. And we pulled several all-nighters. Uh, especially during the beginning of writing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was some all-nighters had. Yeah. All right, now Zephyr. Um, forgive me if I get the names wrong. Zephyr, Destin, and Tessia. Is, did I say that? Yes. yes that, All right. Yeah. So they get banished to Area 51. Is Area 51 code for something in your life? Uh, no. Not really. Not really no. that much now. More like the Area 51 everyone makes conspiracies about. Yeah. And we decided to just, hey, let's fill those little bit of those conspiracies. It. Yeah. With aliens, Now, is course. this going to be like a series? Is this the first one? And then are we going on from here? Yep, we're oh, yep. working on book two right book now. Book two is on, in the works right now. We're on chapter 16. Yep. And oh, is, wow. again, you guys are 14 and 15? Uh, we're both 15. Yep. Both 15. 15. Both 15. Amazing. Remarkable. What's it like to see a book in print? Amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is wonderful to feel your creation in your hands. The first time I held the book in my hands, I was like, wow. <laughs> we're like, this is amazing. This is right here in front of me. This is perfect. Well, and in yep. fact, we have it right here. That is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. Well, we Great think job. you're both amazing, and we wish you continued success with book number two. And congratulations Thank on you. book number one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. What nice kids. Oh, my too. gosh. I love it. And you know what? I have a 15-year-old, and she hasn't written a book yet. So well, get she's got to get on it. All right. Let's get on it. The book is available now. For more information, visit thedauntlistchronicles.com.